Pop Up Flamby's Advent Calendar. Oh, I, a, 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 ha, he, he, a. Good morning, fellow mathematicians. Welcome back to our video. Advent calendar time yet again, and it's actually an improvised session also, but I don't think it's going to take too long. It actually looked quite easy. Okay, um, I found this on some math Instagram page. It's an infinite series and they want us to find out the value. Okay, it, it, it looked quite okay. It looked nice and clickbait. Okay, it looked like something many people would click on. So why the hell not put it into a video? And yeah, you guys love the improvised sessions. So the this one actually looks like this. Okay, um, 1 over 2 factorial plus 2 over 3 factorial plus 3 over 4 factorial and I guess you can see the pattern. Okay, and we now have to find the value. I, I actually equip myself with an E t-shirt because it looks something like E, okay? <laughs> it really has similarities to E. We have those parts up here but other than that, um, yeah, it looks like E with all those reciprocals of factorials added together. So let us put this into an explicit formula and let's see if we can get something out of this. Um, okay, we can start at 1, k being greater or equal to 1 of, okay, this is obviously k over k plus 1 factorial. Now, um, k plus 1 factorial is k plus 1 times k times k minus 1 factorial, meaning k and 1 over k is going to cancel out and we are going to get this infinite series of 1 over k plus 1 times k minus 1 factorial. Um, this actually looks like absolute shit. The thing is, in normal case, I would probably do partial fraction decomposition, but the thing is, you can only really do this if you have a nice polynomial of a certain degree down there in the denominator. But I do not believe that you can actually do partial fraction decomposition on something that has a factorial in it down here. I don't think that this works out because you would have something of the form uh, 1 being thus equal to um, a k minus 1 factorial but the thing is you don't know how the other one is supposed to look like. So is it for example bk plus uh, I don't even know the power up here. What even is the power up here? So I don't think you can do partial fraction decomposition. Maybe you can add something to it. Or you can't. It's a bit more complicated than I thought it would be. Um, what for example if we change the index? I mean that there are basically two possibilities. You can make this. Um, infinite series. Uh, you, you can write it so there should be infinitely many versions but um, another one that would be quite obvious is to use the k down here okay over k factorial meaning we are going to have k minus 1 up here. Um, yeah let's get rid of this that's a piece of shit no one needs this. So maybe we should put it like this that's an infinite series but this time if we have k factorial down here we should start with k being greater or equal to 2, meaning we have k minus 1 over k factorial. But this is actually better. You see, um, the, the thing is, our denominator is an additive, so 1 over a plus b is not the same as 1 over a plus a, <laughs> one, 1 over b, okay? <laughs> uh, stop it. it. It doesn't work like that. But a plus b over 2, for example, is the same as a over 2 plus b over 2. So we can actually break this up. And yeah, we have a summation of k over k. Yeah, this is way better. Minus 1 over... Oh! Mm. Okay. Um, this is going to cancel out k factorial. We are going to end up with k minus 1 factorial. 
That's absolutely Gucci. And now this, this stuff is definitely going to converge absolutely everywhere, absolutely and uniformly, meaning we can split the sum up. Okay, both are going to diverge. Uh, <laughs> both are going to diverge. Uh, let's break diverging sums up. This is such a nice idea, Papa. Both are going to converge def definitely, meaning um, they, they are an exponential function, okay? My boy E popping up. I had the right intuition behind it. So um, this is going to give us the summation of one over k minus one factorial minus the same one just with k factorial. Meaning in order for us to get to our boy E on this one right here, we actually have to Okay, what is missing the, the zero and the first term, meaning it's one and one, meaning we have to add two to it and also subtract the two. Meaning this thing right here is actually our boy E. So we are going to have negative E plus two after that. And on here to get to boy, to, to the boy E, to our boy E, we have to make a change of index. We want k minus 1 to be equal to j, for example, j, Jens, the mathematical meme boy here on YouTube. And also that means that if k were to start at 2, then j would start at 1, meaning we would have a new summation, k being greater or equal to 1, of 1 over k factorial minus e plus 2. This thing is basically our boy E just with the zero term missing. Zero term is one, so we are going to add a one to it. So this whole thing makes E, okay? This right here is just E. <laughs> what a nice notation, I should use this in LaTeX. But also we have to subtract the thing from it. So we have E minus E, oh no, E is going to cancel out. Now I have to take my shirt off, no. No, E is still there in our hearts, okay? Oh, in our hearts. That's a nice pun. Okay, so this is going to give us zero plus two minus one is one. Okay, this is quite a wild, serious representation for the number one. I have not seen this before. That's quite ingenious. But we should be able to get to the solution from this point onwards. Oh, I see. Um, ah, okay. If we were to make a change of index, what we would basically do is we would add a one to it and subtract it. Then we have negative one over k plus one factorial. And also we have k plus one over uh, k plus one factorial makes k fact. Ah, okay, yeah, this is something you could also do. I was just thinking most of the time you can add something to it and subtract it and then it does wonders. Yeah, our number is one. I think guys watching, don't forget to check out Papa Flemmy's shop. Okay, 10 to 15% of everything over the course of the whole December. And up until next video, have a flamble day. Ciao. Why <laughs> 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 <laughs>